Welcome back to another episode of DDO 10 Minute Tips. Uh, in this episode, we're going to cover deleting a character. And there are many reasons why you may want to delete a character, some of which are uh, you're tired of the character, uh, the character hasn't worked out, and you've tried tweaking it uh, as I showed you how to do in uh, the previous two episodes. Uh, maybe you created the character for a special purpose and the character has achieved that purpose. And there can be a host of other reasons. Those are just a few. Now, Ten Minuti was created for a single purpose. And that was to run through and teach the basics of Dungeons and Dragons Online. Um, she is nearing the end of her useful life, and I will be sorry to see her go, and she will be going away. I have other characters in better positions to um, teach some other things that Ted Minuti is not in a position to be able to work with. Uh, deleting a character is actually very easy. And I'll just show you the basic. Well, I'll show you the basic, show you how it's done. It's a very quick process. Uh, here we are at the login screen. If, if we after we have logged into the system and are getting ready to log into uh, a particular server. Down here in the character selection window, there is delete. You click it, it tells you to enter the character's name. If you notice, delete is not lit up. Whenever I get the character's name fully typed in, delete comes up, and then you click delete. Once you delete a character, you cannot get the character back. It is gone for good. So before you actually delete the character, take a few moments to think about a few things. Uh, first and foremost is that is, does that character have gear that another character on the server could make use of? On Kyber here, I've got Unicum Plata, who is a level 9 ranger. Ten Minuti is a seven, level 7 rogue. And uh, if I go through her gear, I'm going to find that most of her gear, Ten Minuti's gear, is level 5, 6, and 7, which really isn't going to benefit uh, Unicum in any way whatsoever, just from the uh, level aspects, not to mention most of the gear is uh, has been selected for a rogue. Now there may be one or two things that if I go through her um, gear that might be useful that aren't uh, particularly class dependent or alignment dependent because alignment is uh, something you have to watch out for as well. When you look at gear that you might be able to use. Uh, some of that gear might be uh, a good uh, item that uh, has a really good haggle aspect, which would give uh, Unicum a better chance at getting 
some more platinums out of the booty she comes across. But then again, I have to take a look. Another thing we have to look at is the platinum cap. On a free to play account, each level has a cap on how much platinum the character can have. It's, a, it's calculated by a fairly simple uh, calculation, which is 1250 times 2 raised to the level minus 1. So what it comes down to is level 1 is 1250, level 2 is 2500, level 3 is 5000, and on up. At level 9, the cap is at 360,000 platinum. Level 7 is 80,000 platinum. Uh, Unicum currently has uh, about 100,000 platinum. So, in this particular case, I would sell most of Tenminuti's gear and just transfer the platinum over. Now, transferring the platinum or gear over on a free-to-play account is done through sending uh, mail through the Lightning Post, which can be very, very time-consuming, especially if there's a lot of gear that can be transferred. Like if I were to create another uh, rogue on this server, I may want to hold off on getting rid of 10 minuti and transferring the gear over to the new character. And if there's a lot of gear, that can take a while. So, before you actually delete a character, take a minute and review what the character has, what you have on that particular server, and how much you want to deal with sitting at the lightning post uh, sending mails. Because it's not just the time spent sending the mails, but then on the receiving end, you have to go through those emails and detach the items, and then you have to go through the items once again to determine whether you can use them or not, or if they might be usable in the future and have to be put into your bank account. Then you have to think about how to manage the bank account. Uh, so, you know, it's just part of the game, especially if you're on free to play. If you're not on free to play, uh, you have a shared bank account, you just dump the stuff into it and uh, withdraw it to add another character. So, things to think about when you delete your character. Well, until next time, my friends, keep your weapons clean and sharp.